Do you love golf? How do you fare on the back nine? This week for our coverage of All Stars 2 coverage, we watch these sickening divas knock some balls around dodging manimal bulges. And then it's time for merch. Ooh. RuPaul challenges the girls to create an all-star product worthy of their brand, plus shoot a commercial to sell their product. She's a marketing <laughs> genius. I'm and the runway category is pants, pants on the, the runway. runway. If you can wear trousers and look feminine. Hello. Plus, Alaska wears a rhinestone top and delivers a rather historic elimination. Our Race Chaser coverage of All Stars 2 continues right now. Tune in for the tea. Where is Tati? Oh, yeah, Alaska Center Home. Choices. M. Oh. M. Mom. Race Chaser. Hello. Hello. Hello, and welcome back to Race, Race Chaser, Chaser Classic, Classic, a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, and dissemination of, unfortunately, every single episode of <laughs> RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race, Race, starting from the very beginning. This is the beginning. This is the moment. It's a RuPaul you. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Willem. What's yours? I'm Alaska. Welcome back to our coverage of all-Star season two, we are on a beautifully sparkly set, giving you shows, shenanigans, and remember, full episodes of this podcast, Race Chaser, are available on Mom Plus Gold. So you can sign up at mompodcast.plus. This season, it's all about glamour for us. We're giving full body looks, we're giving uh, recreations, wearing some of the actual pieces mm -hmm. from the show. Shoes, nails, shaving, we're doing drag. What um awesome. what is your look inspired by today? Well, the runway category today is pants on the runway. Oh, and their pants show the show these the pants, are pants because these pants are so fierce. They're unbelievable. You know, just a little just a howie. Little just a little howie. I helped with some of them too, but these were actually almost pants on the actual runway because season all stars. Sonique. Seven. Sonique yeah. season. She I wanted, go by the queen, not the number. Okay, I don't know sorry. the numbers. She wanted to win the Well, I look like a fucking mathematician. Five, six, seven, two, thirty-seven. <laughs> a singer and a goddamn dancer. You're right. But yeah, Sonique season. She wanted to borrow these because the designer f her over the night before and didn't give her like five looks. So she called me. And this was the one thing I told her she could not take away to RuPaul's Drag Race. So instead, she wore them in her Do It Like Dolly video after I wore them. Because I had to wear them first. You had to. I wore them to a premiere at the, at the Ford Theater. Oh. What privilege. The Chevy Theater. <laughs> no. That's where I do shows. <laughs> oh. I don't know that place. This, okay. I want to talk about my look now. A lot of this was screen used, the actual pieces. This hair. So that's your excuse. Is the actual hair. Okay. These pants are from some shop in San Francisco. They're really cute. Yeah, these are the actual ones. The suspenders are actual. The shoes are actual. They look like they'd be from the store, like the general store that's on the same side as the Castro Theater, but before you get to the corner, like restaurants. You know they the one? They might be. I don't, I don't remember. But... The tank top, and you know, people always ask me about the tank top, and you know, it's a big scandal, but we don't, I don't, I don't know where it is. I don't know if we lost it, or I, I don't know. So that's the only piece I don't have, but you know, you get the idea. Who's that pretty um, little girl on your neck? Oh, and I have this. This was a fan <laughs> recreation. So this is like in, um, what was that cartoon where it was a duck character and they had an inner tube of them with their own face on it? And when they would get happy, the face on the thing would get happy. DuckTales? Like, was it DuckTales? I don't or know. Or like Muppet Babies or something like that? I could see... Um, DuckTales. I could see Gonzo having something that looks like a duck. But it was a duck person. Did it walk? It was like a duck. Duck walk? Uh, no. Oh. It it was a duck. It was a duck person, but they had an inner tube that had their own face on it. Are you looking this up? So you think it was Duck Talks? 
Duck. If, if she duck. was a duck. Fuck tails. <laughs> was the inner tube always there or just when they would like always. go in the water? Always. Anyway, sound off in the comments. Let us know. Why don't you tell us what happened last week? Did I send anyone home or ruin any anyone's dreams last week? Mm. No. Oh, no? Good. That's no, nice. the other girls ruined dreams. Oh, good. Rue brought back four eliminated queens to hash out some drama. Fifi and Alyssa had words and a non-genuine hug. And Ginger tried to get in there as well. On the main stage, the queens worked in pairs, except for Roxy. Okay, but I tried to hug her. I tried to hug you, though. Queens worked in pairs, except for Roxy, who could do bad all by herself, oh. to put together comedy routines to make Rue and the judges laugh. Everyone was enjoying it except for Porkchop. Roxy floundered as a solo host, but she looked lovely. That guy! Oh. Who is that? What Wade? is that from? Wade? Like Wade? Stoner Donald Duck. Garfield. Wade dives in. Wade the duck no, had a duck pig. Inner, inner tube of his own faith. So this young lady is my Wade inner tube. And so when I get, when I cry, she's going to cry. When that I might feel clean traumatized, her up a little bit. she's going to feel traumatized. Okay. She's your, what's it called? Your familiar? Yeah. Got it. Uh, Fifi did a character study of a pregnant streetwalker. Where have we seen that before? Um, and didn't really pay off. That's why you get the money first, girls. Alaska, Alyssa, Where have Tatiana. We seen that before? What? Where have we seen that before? It's going to be in the promo, but I'm predicting oh. the future. <laughs> hey. Oh, you've seen good people are shady. Shady boots. After a fierce lip syncs to shut up and drive, Tatiana and Alyssa drove their way to $5,000 each, and they both revealed that they would like in their heart of hearts for Fifi to leave. Yes, and that was that. And, and this... just like this. What? And just like this. And just like this. We're on season... Same one, episode five, nine, six. And just six. like this, We're There is our HBO show. Um, <laughs> now there. with Rosie O'Donnell. Did you see that? Uh, yes. Gag. Like, honestly. Down. I think she's playing Mario Cantoni's boyfriend. <laughs> Tell me she's not a top. Rosie? Top down, top down boots. hard top mm -hmm. energy. This episode, she's so I love, I love her. I love her too. This episode is called Drag Fish Tank. Can Welcome we fish? to the fish tank. Yeah, drag the musical. Get your tickets. Mm -hmm. We did not steal the name from this. Trust. I didn't even know this episode was called Drag Fish Tank until rewatching it and seeing the title of the episode. Oh. I was like, why is it called that? That doesn't make sense. It's because it's a playoff of Shark Tank. Oh. I thought Tish Fank would be good. Tish Fank. Yeah. A cute name. Thanks. Uh, Fifi wrote on the mirror message, I wanted to avoid hugs because of tears. Love you all. Jump in a car. Love Fifi O'Hara. She's just trying to backpedal. She does not have the capacity for love. She's there are so many lies in this. Backpedal, and it's like fine. It's being there in this place fucks with your fucking mind so much. I understand everything that she's going through. So she's like, "Oh fuck! Now I didn't want to hug Alyssa. Now everyone's gonna think like this, this, and this, and gonna, gonna think they're gonna know. It. They're gonna make a big deal out of it. So now yes. I have to address that. And my mirror message is just such a fucking mental mind fuck to be there. Imagine if instead of just playing a character or saying you played a character, you just like did good drag and won stuff. Like it's not that hard. Why it's didn't hard. she just do that? It doesn't look that hard. You just got to make RuPaul laugh and wear pretty stuff and not be ugly and do your job. And if you don't know how to do it, shut the f up. Don't be a. B it's not that hard. Whew. Now you want to talk about hard? That is a hard front. It's fashion. This is like Eyes of Laura Mars, like fashion. Like. Didn't she go blind at the end? No, she sees the murders as they're happening. Well, I see. I see a crime. It's not a murder, but ooh, bordellos. Everyone's most least favorite shoe. 
They are very uncomfortable. Bordellos are horrible. Never do it, girls. Never There's do a reason it. that business went out of business. Hello, goodbye, Zanotti. Oh, I say it, but I say it. Bordellos are the least comfortable brick hard. They, I think they make them out of stone. He's been on the race. Oh, they have? Yes, so warm. Wow. Uh... The, the, in the workroom, uh, Tati does not believe Fifi's explanation. Uh, Katya is plucked about the numbers, going from a top five to a top six. Oh, I get that. And uh, that would kind of be that would kind of be infuriating. Every day being there is so hard, and then it's like, oh, an extra person is here. I think. Well, this was them making up for the fact that a door left. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Because they had an episode order at the top, so they were able to bring back two divas, which I love. Yeah. And the next day, oh, I was thrilled. You come in work. Room ready. Are you in a blazer? I'd like to see if there is a letter. Lovely. <gasps> there is. What does oh, the is letter this say? The letter K. K. Oh, this is the K. 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 Every kiss begins with. <laughs> a uh, last name Sadia. First name. K. K. <laughs> 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 uh, you're quoting the one, the only girl who loves the K. Gia Gun, you say, I don't jump guns. I am the boom boom gun. Sweetie. Sweetie. I don't jump guns. Alyssa and Tati put their RuPaul statues back on the shelf and everybody does their best Alyssa impression. Can we do it now? Oh, For the people oh, at home oh, watching. Oh, 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 mama. Miss girl, miss girl. Oh, we're gonna get him, mama. Oh, we're gonna get him. Oh, hokey pokey. <laughs> The mini challenge happens, and this is just the height of absurdity. Rue invites 100 Indo Christian models. Mm. Uh, Willem has only fucked 97 of them, though. Uh, in an expanded pit crew, they come in for the mini challenge. They're wearing animal masks and underwear. It's called Butt Butt Golf. Oh, Butt Butt in the what? What What in the butt? So, what, this what is in the butt. a challenge that involves the girls having low-hanging testicles that they then hit a ball through these gentlemen's butts. And this is ad integration and sponsor integration at its, what's not finest? What's the opposite of fine? At roughest? Its, at its, no, I'd say in betweenest. Cause it's not bad, we get to see some cute boys, some Why are they in Jason animal Card? mass? Is it because like at a putt putt? Yeah, there's different characters. And can you imagine being one of the Andrew Christian boys? You're gonna be on Drag Race. You're gonna be one of the ones in the mask. Only the real pit crew can show their faces. Oh, I'd be Pluckertons. But uh, baby, I can tell Chetty's body with a mask or without a mask. That is Chetty, baby. Yeah, Chetty I, is the black horse. I don't know what is going on. Why do we have low hanging balls to knock our fucking balls into the, uh, like I don't understand this. And why is it called butt butt? Is it a if we're using balls. Ball ball? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Um, I love my look though. I love your look too. It's I'm proud of this. You look Scottish. They provided the little hats. I think I stole one. I think I stole my hat. I think I have it somewhere. I feel like detoxes is Gucci. <laughs> Probably. Um, bitch. Because they gave us so little time, so I was like, oh, girl, I'm going to go the other way with it. I'm going to put on the stubble, honey, instead of trying to cover it. Because some of these girls don't, didn't don't quite cover the stubble. Yeah, Roxy is, uh, Roxy is uh, giving Miss Mandrews. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think she's passable. Not when she's Are we allowed to camera. say passable anymore? She passes right by that guy, sure. <laughs> She gets the ball between his legs and then passes right on by. And then she's doing some sort of... Well, you have to get really close to these guys in order to get the ball moving. Was that uncomfortable for you? Uh, well, at this point, I was so skinny, it was like Eon Flux, so I didn't touch anybody. It was just like... Mm. Now, you really seem to figure this out because you watched all these girls f around and then you got in there and did your f job. Detox ran out of time. I think she stopped for a shot on the way, probably. Baby, don't be fooled by this clock, okay? The, a soul can clock. They're putting the countdown clock on here. Uh -huh. The level at That's which so this took clock. so long and no one could do it, it was like so difficult.
I think at a certain point they just had to like start cutting the girls off. Oh, that's what they did to detox. Yeah. Time's up. Mm. They're getting close to these. It's men. a very strange sport. I don't understand, but I won. Back to some golf clubs once. Back of a car. You're welcome. Um, I was like, oh, you got a lot of golf clubs. Give him some ideas. <laughs> the men in the horse masks and the animal masks is very my is that. Who, what, where? My, my aesthetic. Oh, that's Chetty, that one. To put men in horse masks and animal masks. Yeah. They showed one of my masks uh, in the, like, when when they go in the workroom and show, like, mm -hmm. B-roll. Your little mask. Oh, I wonderful. was mask in this challenge. Uh... Anyway, I won something. What did I win? You won. Oh. You won two thousand dollar prize pack. Did you get the suit from Klein Epstein? No, Park? Uh, girl. Should I call them? Yes, you should. This is a prize you could do. Hi, I have proof. It's written on this card, this mom card. No, show the episode. Girl, if I rolled up and said, give me $2,000, they would call the police. If you don't, I will. Can I go dress like this? Yes. Be like, this is me from that TV show. See, I look like her. And I would like my suit. Here's the thing. I feel like one of those Schoolhouse Rock characters. Ugh. Baby, if you were anywhere near a school, it would be Schoolhouse Block. <laughs> they would call the police. <laughs> oh, my ankle broke. Uh, oh, oh, Sally so Sally Field, that believer. <laughs> Sally Field, lying to me about the believer. Ah! Uh, this is uh, a prize that you should get because Klein Epstein Parker literally pays to have their name said on Drag Race, and then for that honor, they're giving out prizes. And you should—you look great in one of these suits. You, you get a new like little pink patch suit. Wear to the patch. Yeah. Yeah. Klein Epstein. Get a new uh, suit. Okay. I'll go with you. I'll wait in the car. I'll be like, no, we don't need to park. Give her her. They'll be scared. We'll get it. Yeah, I'll take you. Smart. I like. Yeah, I'll roll up in the jeep, the roof <laughs> down. I'll I'll wait outside, pop out the room. You doing good, girl? They being nice. Bar queen. <laughs> Bar suits. <laughs> Why do we take a suit? Good my break? sister, suit what? my sister up. <laughs> Give her her suit. Give her her suit. It simply isn't proper. It won't do. They're lucky we don't ask for some haberdashery too for all the tardiness. It buttons on the left. <laughs> It buttons on the left. <laughs> Why don't we gonna take a break and we'll be right back. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Kids are always learning and growing, but as adults, sometimes we lose that curiosity. What's something you'd like to learn? gardening, a new language, or maybe how to finally beat your best friend in bowling. Well, therapy can help you reconnect with your sense of wonder because your back to school era can come at any age. You know what? This is 100% right. I am 42 and I am learning a second language, Espanol, and I feel- A language of love. Yeah, and I like having something to do every day and then weekly like reports telling me how good I did. It's like a check-in and like it's something I do for me that like, you know, it's probably not going to benefit anybody, but I want to know what people are saying around me when they talk in Spanish and are side-eyeing me. Totally. And connecting with that sort of just natural curiosity, I think is a great thing. And if therapy can help you open that up, I think that's good for anybody. Yeah, and therapy is great, especially BetterHelp, because if you're thinking of starting it, BetterHelp is entirely online. You don't have to leave the house. Designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash drag today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash drag. drag. This episode is brought to you by... Oh, I fell asleep. I'm so comfortable on my Helix Sleep mattress. Wow. Ooh. So Helix Sleep, we know we've got some Helix mattresses in our lives. Mm -hmm. The sleep has improved. They look great. They feel great. 
can't say enough about it. These mattresses are so good, we don't even cut them up for hip pads. No, not the Helix. Not the Helix, uh-uh. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, the newly released Helix Elite Collection, and a mattress made just for kids, and even a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers. We learned a long time ago that we love our Helix mattresses, but how will you know which Helix mattress is going to work best for you and your body? That's easy. There's a quiz and there's no wrong answers. You take the Helix Sleep quiz, you answer some questions and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. They've got models with memory foam for side sleepers, models with responsive foam for stomach and back sleepers. And they have enhanced cooling features for all you hot sleepers. I know it. And no more mattress stores. You can shop online and then your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. And that's why they offer a 100 night trial and a 10 to 15 year warranty. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash drag. That's helixsleep.com slash drag. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Well, Detox and Roxy are oh. having some um, tete-a-tetes over the Maxi Challenge, which is the queens making merchandise worthy of a unique all-star brand. And they do a commercial that sells the goods, and then you get your merch produced, and sold at the next drag con if you're one of the two winners. Yeah. So it's like Shark Tank, but fishier. Ru said it, not me. Hashtag RuPaul's Fish Tank. Now, Dee and Roxy are going at each other and saying, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, girl? What are you going to do? Then you and Alyssa are doing the same thing where you talk about Alyssa's go-go juice. Yeah. And then you take and a I sip. And I sample the wares. And then you're instantly I transported. I my beak. <laughs> This is the juice that turns everyone into Alyssa. It does. My hair was so thick. I need a Nutrafol or something. Why was my hair so thick back then? You probably weren't washing it. Getting old ain't for sissies, bro. Oh, look at me. My hair's still thick. What privilege. On your back. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, not these wisp lashes Yay. that I put on. That I'm like trying to push up. Oh, wait, they're already pushed up. Oh, your Ardells. <laughs> 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 they're double ups. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Coming out here in a pair of Ardells <laughs> trying to read. <laughs> hey, I have some sugar pills on the bottom. Uh, just no, to let you, you know. You look, you look great. I don't think that's a small lash. That's like a RuPaul size lash. Honestly, yeah. The ones that you have in your uh, shadow box. Yeah. They're kind of similar. Yeah. You know, if they're put in the right spot, you don't need much. These walkthroughs. Well, the bones are good. <laughs> the walkthrough with RuPaul and... Marcus Lemenis. Marcus Lemonis. Probably one of Jeffrey Moran's friends from the from the R key party. From CNBC's The Prophet. Uh, Marcus was very harsh to the girls. Very harsh. Pulling very no harsh. punches. Uh. Marcus shows Roxy that she's actually selling her expertise on the DVD and not the wig glue, which totally transforms her whole presentation and lets her come from another angle. I don't think they should see that from that angle. <laughs> Why don't you show them what's inside now, there? Now, this is... Shame. Um, oh, like a Ooh. side. Oh. Like a, oh. <laughs> oh, not mad. This is like Cher when she did the, like... Um, that triangular... <laughs> oh, no, I liked it like that. I liked it like that. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to give screen accuracy. And I was going... Or else like the guild a, will come after you, right? A <laughs> continuity. <laughs> a late 70s, very early 80s. It's late. Um, Like Pennsylvania, small town, cigarette smoking. Allentown, that's very hard. Hanging out yeah. by the fucking racetrack no, kind I get of that. person. Yeah, waiting for the numbers to come in and the ponies. Yeah, um, I was giving them very that. Yeah. Marcus tells Katya that her product is a flop, crisis control. He tells he really her went sideways on her with this. Yeah, he's telling her she has something that has no value. 
lose. Well, she showed him. Lose the bottle and the whole idea. Start over. And then she's like, okay. okay. And then he leaves the room and she's like, girl, I'm not doing that. that. <laughs> girl, <laughs> who's that half a faggot telling me what to do? <laughs> Goodbye. She don't even do drag. Not half a she don't know her. Half a faggot. <laughs> Um, but Marcus loves Tatiana's tea set, and he loved the product pitch and the commercial idea because it was an actual product, I think, intangible. Yeah. Uh, what feedback did you get from Mr. Marcus? He Ooh, loved it. You know Mr. Marcus. I like Mr. Is he one of the pit crews? No, Mr. Marcus is a porn star. He loved it. He loved my idea. Nice. What did RuPaul think? Um, uh, uh, Loved it. My idea was I wanted to because they gave us a table of stuff to like mm -hmm. choose from to make this happen. Love that like, kind of. I want to uh, take something stuff. cheap and easy and just put a label on it and then, then sell it for more money, which is I don't think the sticker will stick to me. Kind of <laughs> something cheap and easy. But you do. Uh, who who on what kind of drag queen would like sell tape? Who does that? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would be terrible at this challenge, I guess. The mirror chat. You'd be good at this challenge. Yeah, I would be. On this green screen, RuPaul is not there, but Carson and Michelle are your worthy directors. So worthy. Uh, to shoot with furniture courtesy of Riverworks. Mm. Because when I think of a furniture, I'm like, you know what? I got to go to a river, find some furniture. River Island. Island. River Island. That's Courtney Act. <laughs> not us. River Island beauty. Yeah. Now, Katya hold. she's like, you got a pig? And then she's like, no, we got a turkey. Even better. Yeah. Katya's commercial is great because what she does is she takes the traditional commercial, very Tanya Roberts, like she comes in, she hands someone an, an assistant something and she's acting like it's her home. And this is that and here's this and this is my kitchen. She's a natural. She's got, so she's got lots funny. of charisma. Yeah. And um, even if she, it's a bad idea, if she says it funny, it's still a great idea. But the thing is, it's not a bad idea. No, it's great. Because she's selling water in a bottle and giving it a story, and, like, that's what you're selling. Yeah. The, where the girls went wrong was, like, I'm going to make a pro like, a talking, that that's, like, it's battery operated. It has a microchip in it. Do you think they're going to make this for Dragon? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Detox's trash can would have had technology that World of Wonder won't have for probably 30 years. Do you think that they were going to produce Roxy's wig DVD to go along with the wig? Do you think they were going to go to the FDA and get a wig glue that you could put on your skin without, you know, harming yourself? I mean, it's not hard to slap a label on something. But I do think that tape was an easier sell. And tea. Tape and tea or tea and tape. Tea could have worked. Also, Katia's was just a spray in a bottle, mm -hmm. and mine was just tape. So, But it wouldn't have real Thorazine in it. You don't know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Katia would get in there. All right. <laughs> so Detox spent all of her time making a trash can puppet. So she's just kind of winging it on her commercial, she says. You know what? Detox looks great, though. She really does. She looks wonderful. She looks like um, a Star Wars hooker of some sort. And so. doesn't it give you Star Wars hooker? Oh. <laughs> that came that awfully <laughs> close to these knees. And these are pristine. What would happen if these knees? Pristine condition. Oh. You see those knees? <laughs> you see those fishnet scars? I Dirty knees, look at, <laughs> look at these. <laughs> <laughs> look at these. <laughs> look at these. Wait, that's from a song, isn't it, that we did? I don't know. What's song? Ride for AIDS? It's from, oh, maybe. It's from one of our songs, like a triple A song. So many. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I kind of like that one. That gives me Whitney. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want from me, I give it your hags to say. This wig is from. <laughs> I dare you to wear that for a week's worth of gigs. What if I give you ten thousand dollars? Fuck yeah. Um, Alyssa. Well, first of all, you come next, and you have. I'm sure you had a storyboard. You probably drew out your shots. I did. And then you tell her that you have eighteen things to do. Fourteen shots. Fourteen shots. Which isn't that many. No, not at all. Because some of them take like ten seconds. Yeah. But of course, you had to make it dramatic. And Michelle's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. Back in my seduction days. Have you been on <laughs> a shoot? Have you have you made a YouTube video? Have you made a TikTok? You know that multiple things happen, not in sequence. Then you put them in sequence in the editing room. A sequence gown. Sequence gown. The shot. Period. Done. No, every time it's like it's like it's like what what are you talking about? You have to film things. Every time. Boggles the mind. Now, you don't use this, t you don't show them tucking, you don't show them using this on their face, you just show it on your Did you show the tape? Also on nails, oh. and also around my waist. I love the nails on the black glove. Tucking is so crass, I didn't do, I didn't want to go blue. I get that. That's so yeah, who are you, Coco Montrese? Loves <laughs> blue. Uh, your boat offended me. <laughs> It all about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Roxy is showing off her wig tricks, including a wig reveal. And see the. Oh, no. oh no, Roxy. No. No. <laughs> no. Why? No. And it happens this, more than once. This is when the people in the editing room, like in the in the video village, they watching all the monitors. This is when they all like lit up cigars and they're like, we got the shit. This is like the moon landing of reality Flag that TV one, shots. star it. She's like, look at my sickening wig reveal and takes it off and the wig underneath is slipped back two inches. You can see her, oh. her boy hair and it looks so bad, but she doesn't know. <laughs> so she's like. Show them how. Oh my God. Show them how. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I That's don't good. I don't understand why it wouldn't have been lined. Or glued down, and also <laughs> she's selling wig glue. <laughs> Where's the glue, bitch? And the wig is not glued. Oh, <laughs> Roxanne. But also this low seating. Will you please get the girls some chairs that they don't have to sit like <laughs> giant men on Tinker Toys? Because that's what it makes everybody look like. Literally, Ugh. your shoulders hunch. Everything about it is bad. And then Alyssa is running around. This is what makes Alyssa's commercial work, is what the directors told her to do. Her physicality is very funny and very good. Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah. And she tells the story. Tatiana is told to be They said, just stay there. That's where you live. Stay Thank there. you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. she did good. Were there any girls that came back into the workroom that were like, ooh, girl, really was a rough spot? I can't remember. Can't remember. No, I think at this point it's like, well, no one watched what happened, so everyone was like, "I did good. They peed for me, so they did. They lived. I did great." The next day in the mirror chats, um, you and D are talking about how you're laser focused on this competition, and uh, there will, even though all the elements of Verlasca talks are there, it is not currently in effect. It is in remission. And there's nowhere else they would rather you and her would rather be in this moment. Period. Yeah, that that Isn't is that a song true. lyric. No place I'd rather be. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'd rather be. Yeah. Um. And you hug. Listen, you know it is what it is. I don't know if Fifi would like this because she she likes to avoid hugs because of tears. I wanted to avoid tears. Yeah. But um, then we get straight to the main stage and. RuPaul is in a, she's in a dress that didn't look like a first choice. I'll say that. What do you mean? She looks it's amazing. Nice. It's nice, but the bodice. Is there fringe? No. Oh. The bodice is just too long for me. It makes her torso look really long and there's no payoff at the bottom. The hair is everything. Uh, from neck up, love it. <laughs> down, mm. She said this is a hair episode. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, the dress is fine. Mm -hmm. Michelle looks great. Kiss of the Spider Woman. And uh, Carson looks... Uh, Carson looks... Like Carson. Yep. She looks just like her. Todrick's there too in a Technicolor wondrous jacket. Yeah. And... Um, that's all that that card says. Graham Norton's there too. Oh. I think this is Graham's first appearance. Oh, I love that. And this runway category is pants, pants, I said. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Windmill. Hands on the run. <laughs> now, some of these girls. Ah! Oh! You're going to own this place. <laughs> Let them try to get my sister like that. Pants on the runway. I'm not sure if it's pants on the runway because some of these girls are slacking. Well, we're going to get. <laughs> See what I did. Uh, we're going to take, uh, don't hem and haw. <laughs> you really have a le a pant leg up on this, on this runway challenge. You almost had it. Things aren't always what they in seem. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Zip it, dudes. <laughs> Why don't we go take a break and we'll be right back. See, I like that. I like that right there. It gives me like Edward Scissorhands asymmetry. This has movement. <laughs> it looks just like Yeah, Roxy's it makes me want to take there. a bowel movement. <laughs> Ooh, that, yeah. Ooh. It's like a really loose beret with hair. <laughs> off That's right. good. That's just... the one right there. Ooh. You're sexy there. You get trade in that. <laughs> and then put yeah. it on the other side for his brother. <laughs> they, how will they know? How will they know? How will they know? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Hungry Root is the easiest way to eat healthy. They send you fresh, high-quality groceries, simple recipes, and essential supplements. It's like having someone else do all the planning and shopping so you don't even have to think about it. Hungry Root gets to know your personal health goals, favorite foods, and more. Then they build a personalized cart with all your grocery needs for the week, including easy four ingredient recipes to put those groceries to use. Each order is fully customizable so you can take their suggestions or choose anything you want. They've got fresh produce, high quality meat and seafood, healthy snacks, smoothies, sweets, ready to eat meals, kids snacks and meals, vitamins and supplements, and much more. They've got everything. Hungry Root was great because I did the little quiz, told them what I didn't like and what I did like, and they put together like a basket for me. And the basket had all these things that I was like, I'd love to try that, or ooh, I actually like that. And then it had like one thing that I was like, nah, take that out. But then it comes straight to your door, and then you unbag your groceries, and you're like, oh, you want to eat everything. And then you're like, no, let me wait for a recipe. When you've got dietary restrictions, shopping in a store can sometimes be hard, but like, you you can click on Hungry Root. I don't want anything. I want everything gluten free. I want everything vegetarian. I want everything vegan. And then they just select stuff for you. It's great. Yeah. Everything from Hungry Root follows a simple standard. It's got to taste good, be quick to make, and contain whole trusted ingredients. Right now, Hungry Root is offering Race Chaser listeners 40% uh -huh. off your first delivery and free veggies for life. Just go to HungryRoot.com slash Race chaser, race chaser to get 40% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. That's hungryroot.com slash race chaser. Don't forget to use our link so they'll know we sent you. We are back. We are back. It's pants time, okay? Roxana Anna Anna Andrews is doing a bell bottom jean with a boho top and Huge blonde curl. Girls, don't put on hair like this no more. Where is the hair like this? Where is it? Where is it? It's not there. I want to know where the hair is because she looks so, this is the hair. If your hair is not at least as wide as your shoulders, why are you doing drag? Just quit. Stop. Hang up the wig. KYS. <laughs> Kiss the nail. <laughs> this, okay. Fun fact, insider dish. Fun for whom? <laughs> For the girls that weren't invited? One of the runway themes was 1970s that they gave us oh. that we didn't end up using. So I think this was actually Roxy's 1970s look, but it happened to be pants, so. She was really strong in pants for her two-way, two-in-one, too. Mm, so yeah. she's been a notable um, pantaloonist winner. Mm -hmm. Katya is giving a 1980 lesbian literary agent. She says a disinterested, pissed-off Ellen Barkin, who's an actress. She was in that movie Switch. Ellen Barkin up the wrong tree. I love it. <laughs> Me too. She's in A Wigs by Vanity. Amari. Which they rechristened the Katya after this. She's in Amari. But it works. Courtney, don't get any ideas. No. No, don't do it. Um, 
God, I mean, this is one of those iconic Katya looks. I think she has merchandise made of this. Like, mm -hmm. this is one of those. So only her can do it. So good. Love it. I think Detox could have done this exact look and been amazing, too, actually. Okay. Alyssa is in all black pants, exposed corset, bra, first off. She's really into exposed corsets this season. She's just, like, bringing it back. Because she wants to show her body. Do you like my body? I get it. You buy your body, you want to show it to people. Absolutely. That being said, the pants kind of disappear. Yeah, the pants aren't an event. They're nice, but... She looks nice. They literally look like they could be from Penny's or Burdine's. Yeah. Like, it's not like an event for me. Detox's pants. And then at the end, she says, And yes, my tails, my fox tails are fake, and I don't care. They're not fake. That was a good cover, though. Yeah. Look at her. She looks so good. See, she this is hair. Great. That's hair. Hair. She does drag. Yes. Detox is in futuristic white and red cruise wear inspired by Terry Mugler. Love this on Detox. She was so excited to wear this on the cruise once the cruise happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She loved this look so much, and she looks so great. The hair is Paswacha. There's a, a meme of me wearing that hair in this outfit, yeah. and it looks so good. That hair looks good on anybody. Bone straight with a bang, baby. Any day, all day. She looks great. I mean, are these pants? I guess capri pants. Yeah, it's a pant. Uh, you are in a bizarre Americana vibe. Red, white, and blue star pants with, uh, sorry can't say that word, with a fringe on top and suspenders in a rhinestone tank top and curly blonde hair. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's very Gaga, honestly. I could see Gaga doing this. This, um... I think this is great because it's a divisive year at being an election and all, too. So I see what you were doing. You were, like, early stages of a drag pack plan. I see it. Was this right before Trump was elected? Girl, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. But summer of 2016. Like I said. Literally, this, these pants probably helped get Trump elected. I don't think they helped, but they didn't hurt. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>